Hey everybody, it's Tracy Baldrack, one of your coaches. I am fighting off a cold, so you're going to have to excuse me, but I want to talk to you about some very, very important things. One being sleep. No, just kidding. I actually need to go to sleep pretty soon so my body can fight what's going on, but the weekend is coming up. It's our second weekend in this challenge group, and I want to just talk to you about becoming more aware about your food, okay? So um, Americans actually... Um, emotionally eat more than any other country. I don't know if you realize that, but the habits and the culture that we have that surround food bring us a ton of joy, but there are also things that we need to just be aware of to make sure that we are really eating when our body needs the fuel and when we're really hungry. So a lot of times we overeat because of certain circumstances, um, friends, um, distractions, emotional reasons. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips that I want you to think about in trying to keep your eating in check with truly eating to fuel your body. Okay, first and foremost, serve and store. How many times have you stood in front of a um, Tupperware container and ate out of it, right? You have no idea what you're doing. Some of you guys are probably using your containers. Some of you guys that may have done challenge groups with us before might be trying to eyeball it or maybe as you're scooping it, you're taking a few bites, bite, bite, scoop, bite, bite, scoop. Um, what I want you guys to think about is when you're serving yourself, I want you to take what your portion is, put it on your plate, put the cap back on, roll it back up, put the clap on, whatever it is that you're eating out of, put it away. So serve and store. Two, make foods that are not good for you, make them impossible to get to. Just don't buy them, right? A lot of times the Halloween candy in our house, we put it way up in an attic where I would, or not an attic, but like a cabinet where I would literally have to like balance on something in order to reach and get it down. It's just too much of a hassle for me to go for the candy. So either don't buy it or put it in a place that's going to be tricky to get to. Number three, eat slowly. Chew your food 10 to 15 times. Really enjoy it. Enjoy the texture. Enjoy the taste. Enjoy um, the different foods that you've been trying. So that's my tip, th my third tip. My fourth tip is um, eliminate distractions. Don't sit in front of the television and eat. Don't sit and um, stare at your computer or read an article on your um, Kindle um, or a book. You want to eat to eat. So pay attention to actually what you're doing. Number five, have a seat. Do not stand up and eat your food, okay? A lot of times if you sit down and you actually have a meal and you're being more intentional, it's going to help you stick to your portions better. My last one is eat early. Drink a ton of water throughout the day. Try to eat an early dinner so that you have a couple of hours before bed to burn some calories and to help you actually sleep better. You will actually sleep better if your body's not working so hard at digesting food. Okay, I wanna make this video short, so I'm out. I'm gonna put these things in our challenge group. Think about them, and I wanna know which one of these tips are you going to work on this weekend. Have a great one, guys. I love y'all, bye.